Hello, my brothers and sisters on the Dragon's Path. My name is Tim Heijen and I believe in dragons. How easy it should be for religions to follow a path. So easy, because they have books, they have guidelines, they have everything they need to know. And still then, still then, there are so many different directions in what they want to take. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, they have all the guidelines and they still don't know what to do with this. <laughs> How difficult it, it should be for, for someone, for someone who follows a spirituality where no books are available. Uh, that you have no guidelines, you don't know what to do. Uh, so I, uh, when, when I was in the beginning of my path, I uh, was writing stories, I made drawings. Uh, not it, but because it was good, but, uh, but it was because I felt something and I need to feel, um, to, to tell the story inside of a book or to draw drawings of what I've seen in visions and dreams. And so, yeah, and now when I rewrite, re uh, that I read my, my books again, it's like, wow, it was definitely a different stage back then, but it still helps me now. And that is the book we all need, our own book. I uh, came across a story that I once wrote about a dragon. And actually, this story, now that I uh, re uh, read it again, again, it's, it's, it's actually very um, comparable to what we are now. The story was about uh, a dragon of course, the <laughs> but a, a little dragon that was a newborn dragon, and after a while, her uh, his his mother died and his siblings as well. He was just alone, and this dragon uh, needed to survive, so he left his nest and uh, was ending up in inside of a forest where he had to survive. And the older he becomes, the more he discovers about his energy and power that he he could do, and. Um, the more that he struggles with his power, the more uh, accidents happen with other dragons that are living there, other people, and having trouble with humans. Yeah, of course. But the thing was that was comparable is because we are also alone, and we all are also we we don't have guidelines, we don't have books, we just have to feel, and that is also what this dragon did. This dragon um, discovered his powers just because he was feeling it so he had to discover it he a uh, step by step he became closer and more powerful but he had to understand it first he had no mother who could say what he was he just lived from day to day not knowing where, where his life is going to to be the day after it that is why he stayed inside of a forest inside of a cave where um he could discover it. The first time that he discovered his powers, it was very scary for him and I and he didn't know what to do about this. So he didn't want to use it anymore. And yet he used it every time when his emotions are more powerful. When his emotions are putting to the test, the, his, his power, his natural elemental powers uh, from the earth came a rise, rising. And every time when this happened, uh, he killed humans, he killed other animals, he killed even dragons. Because of this, in an accident. This is just an accident, because, yeah. That is also not that we will kill someone, or, although it, it, it could happen, in my experiences. Um, but we also need to discover this by our own, by ourselves. And the further we go on our path, the more that we discover. The, uh, just like this dragon is. We have this energy inside of us that is a gift from nature itself, from the elements. And this needs to be discovered by yourself and no one else. Because that is the difference between us and great religions. Uh, not only they have guidelines, but it's just an easy path. It's like I said in a few vid videos ago, it's um, chaos versus order. Our, our uh, spirituality is chaos, just like this dragon in my story did. It, it was just chaos for this, for this little dragon. And just for us, it's also chaos. Everything that has to do with the dragon and the dragon's soul and the dragon's energy 
is chaos and it, that is because you have to form it for yourself um, the story continued when he met other dragons and later on he found some uh, another older ancient dragon that wanted to be his mentor but in a ra in a in an emotional stage he accidentally killed his mentor and uh, he had to continue by itself and uh, just remembering what his mentor was saying and he was keeping he, he was just uh, staying with him in spirit just and that is also a bit the same that uh, is with us com comparisons that we have a spiritual guide by our side just like this dragon had that still needs to, to discover whatever he had to do further on he was also um, attacked by his own brother that was raised by humans that um, no one believed actually from the dragons that could be the, that dragons could be evil but this dragon was raised by human beings and this dragon was also yeah and further on and further on it was actually an interesting story that i wrote back then it why was 18 years old and uh, now that i read uh, read it again i see it in another perspective um it's a book that i call the dragon's downfall and yeah not it, it it's because it's it's reality of course i don't know what happened to the dragons for real but uh, i know that dragons existed and i know that they were descendants of the dragon gods which are the elements and that they have power i and i feel this that they have elemental powers and this power is also being called dragon magic once you understand how to use it how to manipulate it hmm. And that creates actually a dragon which who uses witchcraft to open up gates and to even curse and to heal and to do everything that dragon magic can do. Cursing, my brothers and sisters, uh, is not something to play around with because I cursed uh, some people. And uh, yeah, how do you do curses? Curses are made out of your darkest emotions, your darkest thoughts the darkest things that you have in the corner of your body that you don't want to admit you have if you use these then this will be used in a chaos form but if you use this and you know how to balance it then you you just can you are a very powerful dragon witch and then you can use it against others if you want to bless it's just the same thing also born out of emotions and the more that you are, uh, that you have this uh, draconic energy that you can use inside of you, alongside with the dragon next to you, you can also have a blessing. Just that you love someone so much, like a parent or a child, that you love so much that you want that the dragon protects them. It's just the same thing. Then you touch them, then you with, with, with your hand, touch them uh, wherever you want, and maybe on your sh on their shoulder. It's the best, I believe. And uh, just feel these emotions, just close your eyes. And <laughs> rather if, if it's dark or light, I am actually sure that things will happen. Because the dragon will follow them. The dragon will follow them, whatever your emotions are. It's just a matter of time. So yeah, actually now, uh, yeah, it's a very strange time actually. I'm a bit stuck into this forest. But I don't mind, I like it. No people around, just silence. <laughs> to understand dragons, you just need to, ah, oh, just, ah, oh, I said too much, just in the distance. Someone who didn't respect the quarantine. <laughs> ah. But yeah, the dragons, you just need the time to understand everything about this. Even though you don't have mentors or books or someone who explains you about your dragon, no one could do it anyway, because your dragon is very unique. Even you are a very unique being, and your dragon is a very unique being. And so both of you are cannot be explained by someone else. It cannot be just. It's just your own world, your own bubble, your own dragon eye. And someone else can give you advice, like this mentor was was doing with uh, in my story. But um, it's just it, it, not everything 
not everything he can explain of course he didn't he could not explain how his powers was going to work he could not explain how to stop it how to stop his emotions he could not do this because he didn't understand any of it he understands some of it how to use it but not how to restrain your own emotions you cannot do this not the dragons not us they don't force themselves to restrain their emotions they don't force anything just like you shouldn't you shouldn't enforce anything so my brothers and sisters don't force anything and just let the dragon speak by your side let it you are you your dragon god and your and, and your dragon uh, your dragon guardian are very unique beings and they are with you because you are a unique being out of the millions and billions of people you are the one they want for a reason my brothers and sisters be blessed